good morning. Headed off to my 8 o'clock class, bright and early. Unfortunately, I'm still tired, but they provided breakfast at this teaching seminar, so continental breakfast, it's not just muffins and fruit sometimes, it's just, they say, oh, continental breakfast provided, and it's like a pastry. But this is like real chicken and biscuits and eggs and all this kind of stuff, so save me a little time. Didn't have to get up quite as early today. Right, I'm back at this teaching thing where I'm learning all about how to be a TA, a good TA. I had several different sessions today, like copywriting, and I'm about to go to one called a Voice and Body, where you learn how to have a presence in your classroom. And I've heard it's taught by uh, actors, like people in the film school and stuff, so it should be interesting. I wish I could record it, because I hear you stand in a circle and you're like, um, but I'll let you know how it goes. Now it's crunch time. I've been trained in all sorts of different things regarding how to be a good TA. And one of the main underlying themes of this has been finding something that you're passionate about and teaching it. And if you're teaching something you're not passionate about, don't teach it or become passionate about it. I think that's really good. It's also just a lot of making things relevant, making things interesting, and really just making an engaging classroom. And it's been so cool how this university has done this teaching class because like today I did a class on voice and body with a theater major. So she was up there talking about presentation and that's very cool. And like the library did different technology and how much um, people who are coming into college are so tech savvy that us as instructors need to make sure that we keep up so it can be relevant and relatable. So hopefully I'll be able to knock out this teaching thing. Hate it when you look down at your shirt and realize that there's a stain there that was from spicy mustard that could only have gotten there from in the middle of the day so you've been walking around half the day with a mustard stain. Luckily this is a shirt that would cover it up so hopefully no one really noticed and if they noticed hopefully they didn't care. It cracks me up when people don't think about how their acronyms work. They were just letting us know about two different medical plans we can enroll in at Emory. One is the HSA plan, and the other is the POS plan. I think I'm going to go with the first one. We use a lot of spoons and knives here in this apartment. Apparently, not a lot of forks. Now I'm getting ready to set up all of my stuff for my class tomorrow. I've got an object lesson all prepared, and hopefully I'll get to see that tomorrow. I'll share that with you. I'm going to be sharing about epigenetics to the class and just presenting it to them as if they were non-biology majors than in an intro-biology bio class. So I'm working right now on putting together all my stuff on paper so I can just discuss and write it on the board instead of doing a PowerPoint and being really boring and monotonous. I'm really trying to do some of the techniques they taught us and engage the class, but it's getting late and I'm starting to feel less and less creative as the night rolls on.